Welcome back to Dungeon Master's Corner. Today, we return to our Goblin Ways, as well as have a little surprise for both you and myself as we revisit our old stomping ground. You gotta stomp or those flames will never go out. Welcome back to another episode of Dungeon Master's Corner. My name is Brian. I'm Nicole. And I am Andrew and Womford finally burned to the ground. By your hand. For, for the third time, and I actually got to see it for once. I I actually forgot that this was another instance of Womford burning. Yeah. Yep. Which, considering <laughs> Womford's burning again, I was the one in the driver's seat again today. So this was yes. uh, this was one of my can well campaigns. One, one of my one shots. Which actually was a one shot, which is a rare thing for us. An actual one shot taking one shot. Yeah, it's rare, but it, it, it can happen. So this one was actually a weird little one shot that I wrote and um, I just I, I wanted to do something a little weird and wacky. So I told everybody, I want you to come up with two characters. Uh, first character is whatever you want them to be, level three. The second character was a level one goblin. And I didn't tell anybody why. Did you guys have any thoughts when I said that? I thought we would literally be like a uh, duos coming together and stuff like that, where we're basically playing two, where it's just like, hi, I'm a wizard, and this is my little buddy. <laughs> my little buddy. That's why I made Everybody it. had a pet goblin. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I had any particular thoughts. I was like, oh, cool. Like, one, anything we want, and then goblins, because we are goblins. Well, yeah. Thought you were just telling us to make ourselves, basically. No, no. Um, this was—I I was just curious because we had never really uh, talked Talk, about that. All that much. is fair. We haven't—we haven't talked about that. But yeah, no. We had very specific characters in mind for this that did not know where this was going. Yeah, and and because of where it ended up going, we always talked about that and never the creation process, which is uh, mm -hmm. which is what got me got me going here. So. I created a little dungeon for the players to go through. They started off with their level three characters, and it was your basic dungeon crawl. You go in, you kill a bunch of goblins, you take the stuff, and you go off and you celebrate. So that, that didn't take very long at all. You guys were able to clear that dungeon pretty quick. 20, 30 yeah. minutes at most for like that. And it was just like, all right, cool. I mean, they're just goblins. Yeah. yeah, easy to kill, right? Mm -hmm. Goblin Slayer tells us, easy to kill. Yeah. So then I go, all right, so your characters go off to town. You go to Womford where, yeah, I don't even think I said it was Womford. I think at the end we're like, yep, this was Womford. No, no, no. Like, go back. I remember the exact moment, which is why this town burnt this time. Because you well, said after we were, we were heading to the town and stuff like that as the goblins... You're like, oh yeah, no, joking around. It's like, yeah, it's Womford and everything. But we're like, oh yeah, it's Womford. Just right, to put a right, setting. Right. And that was your downfall from that point on. But we will get to that in a moment. We'll get to that one. I might I might cut that out to, to keep the spoiler at bay. That's fine. But uh, thank you for the reminder. Yeah. But as your characters of whatever you created, I, I don't even remember these characters at this point. Because as we said, only like 20, 30 minutes with them, right? Yeah, honestly, like I created a dwarf wizard with a very... Spe it was a cool class. It was one of the wizard class. Like, I don't play spellcasters often, so I was just trying the book to actually talk to me in some way. But it's a one-shot. So oh, the never, scribe. Yeah, yeah. So I was never going to and actually go anywhere. But I was like, okay, I'll give it a try, not knowing where this was going to go. <laughs> good time to play test a character and nicole what were what were you at that point uh i played layla dreamfinder she was a goliath barbarian ah because i don't i don't do the martial classes very often i'm very much more comfortable with casters yeah perfect time to play test yeah yeah great time so you spent like 20 30 minutes with them sent them off to go get drunk at an inn and that's when we brought in the goblins. All of you returning to your cave after going out for whatever. Whatever was calling you away from the cave, and you came back to a bloodbath. I was getting flowers for my wife for our anniversary. Now you can put them on her grave. 
I was just probably burning bushes because I was playing a sorcerer that had a little bit of a pyro issue. A little? Which was also another reason why the beginning of the end of this campaign. <laughs> yeah. Firebugs are always going to be a problem. <laughs> but you guys, you went through the cave, you investigated, figured out what was, uh, what had happened. What had happened to our friends and family. We will have our revenge! <laughs> and have your revenge you did. You began walking to the town following the tracks of these adventurers, which, as players, you all knew that if those goblins were to go up against those players, would, we would be rejoining our loved ones. It would be game over. It would be, because you were only level ones, I think. Yep, that's what you said. I mean, by the end, I was level two. Yeah. That's true. I'm still level one. We'll get to that. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think as you were walking, Andrew, you reminded me earlier. Yep. I offhandedly mentioned the name of this town was Womford. Yeah. And I will say this. Every time other than this, well, we'll get to that. But every time we've gone to this town, Womford has always <laughs> burned. In every game. Hence the name. The titles of our other episodes, Womford Burns, Womford Must Burn. Yeah, but... Here we go again! It was the... It was many with the werebore. Yep. <laughs> well, actually, technically, they invented it, not me. That, that was the start of it. I'm the reason. And then every other episode with Banquet of the Damned yep. ended with it burning. And then you had to put us in the faded, doomed town again, Brian. No, no, no. But I have never, until this game, I was never in a burning Wamford. That is true. This is your first. Yeah, so... In, this was your first burning Wamford. And Brian let me play a goblin. <laughs> so, continue, Brian. Take let. Uh, <laughs> so, once I said uh, Wamford, that's where my I got hoisted by my own petard. Because anyone who knows anything about Warg will know that Warg went to Womford in Banquet of the Damned and managed to get himself uh, a large collection of demon ash. Demon ash is a very explosive compound, very akin to C4. And the goblins decided to break into the apothecary to find something that would help to avoid metagaming. Mm. And came across the demon ash. They knew they couldn't take the adventurers down on their own. So they went and lined the entire tavern with as much demon ash as they could. Brian, Brian, let's, let's be honest. We took the whole lot. Well, yeah, as I said, everything you could. Because <laughs> I didn't give you as much as Warg had. That would be fucking irresponsible. Who <laughs> would give a player character 10 pounds of demon ash? That, that is so irresponsible. The exact word you know, used this... was everything. Just just <laughs> like the, uh, the, the DM who gave you basically the god-killing weapon. I mean, that, that just fucking irresponsible. Who would... T who you, would... T technically, In... you gave it to the idiot that just yes, absentmindedly gave it to the smart one, so let's... In second. your defense, you didn't realize the extent of that power until we started talking it out and then came the oh no moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We you broke knew what Demon item, Ash could do. We broke an item, we broke an item. <laughs> we broke a world. <laughs> uh, very literally in my case, but that's a story for another time. Uh, so... You guys lined the entire tavern with demon ash and then realized that you only had one trigger device. Hi. Yeah, everyone else ran besides this fucker. I don't even remember the character's name. I just remember Sorcerer Firebug. I gave him a name. I gave him a little bit of a backstory, but that was the general gist of him. And in the end, we were going to be like, how are we going to light it? And before anything could really be discussed, I just start... <laughs> and everyone's just like, we got to go. 
Yeah. Uh, so all the goblins are running at this point, except for crazy eyes over here. <laughs> I was. But the laughter, the laughter did draw the attention of the party from the inside, who turned to look out the window in time to see a maniacally cackling goblin, flames wreathed around his hands, reach out and fire at the base of the tavern. I think it was just press digitation or something like that. It was something simple of just like I don't think it was as like. No, no, we 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 made it artistic ah. for for this. Yeah, we okay. we gave the there was that moment of like what the fuck is he doing? The flame started to rise and that moment of fear of, oh no, before you vaporized the tavern yourself, the adventurers who killed your families. Mm -hmm. And a good quarter of the town, sending fire everywhere else, burning Womford to the ground yet again. Yes. Womford finally so not only burned. Was it your, for me. Not only was it your first, for uh, for your first Womford burning, you were the cause. Yes, yes I was, and I've never been prouder of myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh... I forgot this was another Womford Burns. Yes, yes it was, mm -hmm. and that's the main reason why I will never be level two. <laughs> <laughs> because you you died at level one. Yep. Through my own insanity. You died at level one, taking out four level threes, mm -hmm. as well as a quarter of a town. What a way to go. I feel I would have hit level three myself. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so how you, know what? Brian... you know what? Here's ah. a first for the podcast. Here's a first for the podcast. Ooh. Andrew, I don't remember that character's name. Neither do I. But I'll, but I'll give him a post mortem level up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am winner. <laughs> My wife was avenged. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know we we let an idiot uh, avenger, right? <laughs> Doesn't matter, she was avenged. Okay. It's very it's very pretty from the distance. Wow, that's a lot of smoke. <laughs> I think the fire is spreading. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of us should get going. <laughs> How attached to the cave are we? <laughs> it's full of blood and viscera. But oh, it, it, added, it it added to the decor though. You're only saying positive <laughs> now. <laughs> Uh, this is why we're not allowed to be goblins very often. <laughs> no. When we have a whole... I mean, the first time we were all goblin party, you guys derailed my entire one shot after a hat. Yep. I killed half <laughs> of the crew as their captain. Yeah. And the rest was just plot to overthrow you. Yes. My favorite reason. part is Matt planned that mutiny ahead of time. Like he's like, we're gonna eventually have to mutiny against Andrew. I'm gonna have to convince the entire party. It's like an hour into the game, he goes, <laughs> I don't think I have to convince the party. Right? I think no, we no, no. Mutiny. I remember this specifically. It was twenty minutes. Twenty minutes. There you go. Twenty minutes. Not even an hour. Twenty minutes. It was the. This was our first attempt at an all goblin one shot. This was our second attempt at an all goblin one shot. Can you figure out why there hasn't been a third? So, so Brian, Brian, <laughs> as the DM, what have you learned? No goblin one shots. <laughs> <laughs> but why? Because, because they will go off the rails instantaneously, and you will have nothing to do for the rest of the evening. But will Except you have maybe, fun? <laughs> you will definitely have so much fun. Yeah. Just make sure you have phasmophobia updated, because you'll need something to do once the game is over. <laughs> <laughs> Phasmophobia, Rocket League, something. Have something on your computer so you guys can do something after. Keep in mind, we play digitally. I'm in North Carolina. They're in New York and different parts of New York. Nicole's upstate. Mm -hmm. Andrew's in real New York. Yeah. <laughs> Nicole's from a swamp. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I live in a swamp. It's fine. <laughs> swamp witch. Yes. <laughs> Is this why we fight so many hags? Just reminds you of home. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another DM corner. <laughs> I think I got. I think I hit something. <laughs> I feel we hit a nerve or a realization. I'm not sure which. <laughs> They're on to me. We need to end the episode. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another DM corner. I've been Nicole. I've been Brian. I'm Andrew. And why is she flying on a broom? <laughs>
better insurance rates than a car. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> like, seriously, a dust buster is more effective. <laughs> Take it away, outro guy. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another episode of Dungeon Master's Corner. If you'd like to support us, please visit our Patreon at patreon.com slash reliablychaotic to donate to the Womford Reconstruction Fund. Every dollar you donate goes to rebuilding homes and businesses. And, uh, oops, it's on fire again. You can also drop us a line on Twitter at reliablychaotic. We'd love to hear from you. <laughs>